Hey guys, welcome back to another auto body tech video. Today I'm going to replace this truck's bedside skin without any welding at all. I'll replace it using the adhesive bond and rivet method, which requires a structural adhesive and two different types of rivets. Let's get right to it and I'll explain as I go. So this truck's here because of a rear end collision causing the rear bumper to go into the bedside panel causing this huge buckle. This is where it made contact. It's tore the panel in two spots. Even the wheelhouse extension has been ripped off. From the factory, the panel is riveted on as you can see here. I'm going to treat these as if they were spot welds and remove them with a belt sander. I'll start separating the skin with a hammer and chisel. There may still be some adhesive still holding on or some rivets not fully ground down. The wheel arch area has adhesive here, so I'll use heat to help release it. The inner panel is dirty, full of mud and dirt, so let's get the pressure washer and give it a rinse. Now I can start prepping the box to accept the new skin. Everywhere the skin mates up and attaches to the box, I'll ground down to bare metal. This is because there will be a structural adhesive that will be applied and needs to be applied to the bare metal. I'll do the same to the bedside skin. Now I'll fit up my parts and see if everything lines up.
Because our self-piercing riveting tool can't reach this area, I'll drill a 6.5mm hole to accept Ford approved blind rivet. At this point, I'm going to give some of the bare metal here a coat of paint. We aren't going to be putting this much adhesive here. This is the self-piercing rivet tool. It presses the rivet through the first layer and expands through the second layer. I'll set it up, then show a little demo of it in action. This is the self-piercing rivet. Each one of these rivets gets put onto the tool, it gets held by a magnetic bit, then pressed into the panel with about 7 tons of pressure. It gets pierced through the first layer, then gets pressed with all that pressure causing it to expand with the second layer locking it in place. I'll apply SEM structural adhesive, then spread it evenly covering all the bare metal and the skins ready to be installed. Now to install the blind rivets. I'm using a pneumatic tool that's very easy to use. You just gotta insert the rivet and pull the trigger.
There it is guys, all finished, glue and rivets. And that's how it's done without welding. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out my YouTube channel where you can find all sorts of auto body videos just like this. And don't forget to subscribe.